just be honest with me like how many of you look at the best ways on how to scale your online business like you know it's always about like how we're going to make more sales how we're going to make the machine bigger increase that momentum believing that when we're going to make more sales we actually going to be more profitable and get lots of these problems that we might be facing we always think that we're going to scale that business and all of these problems will go away right and i was the same i was continuously like okay how am i gonna how am i gonna scale my business like how am i gonna get you know make more sales and really really like get the business going and you know the best thing that i knew was like okay like we started to make more sales so there is more admin there is more like websites to update there is more like prices to upload like there is all of these things so my answer to that was like great well we're just gonna hire more people and to hire more people i always thought like all right like i was brought up in the way well brought up i was brought up in the previous career the way that like if you pay peanuts you're gonna get monkeys so you better like want to attract talent so you better like pay good money and so i started to like hire all of these people thinking that i'm hiring like the culture like somebody who really is going to get me like that i'm going to hire people who we're going to get along really well and we're going to build this team and we're going to grow the sales and we're going to grow the business and just everything will fall into place and everything will be amazing but the thing was that i was just so focused on hiring these people and you know making sure that i get the right people on board that i started to like really be a pleaser like i started to be a pleaser of just hiring people and giving them all they wanted and before and before you know it i was like spending hours and hours and hours in business meetings directing people on what i wanted them to do paying them my own money my own money without having to actually do what i had to do to grow the business and you know if i am the director i am the ceo i am the founder of the business then it's like up to me to grow the business right so you can you know you can hire a team to help you with things but if as a business owner particularly if your business is still in the growth phase if you as a business owner don't make the time and don't create the time to really make a leap and drive the growth it's just not going to happen and so you know over time what i found myself doing was like I was just spending all this time directing people, helping them, explaining them. Then they would like go off, do their stuff. Then I would need to check it after them. Then I would need to pay them my own money. I would not have time to do my work when I, then I would end up like doing my work at night. I was completely exhausted, completely exhausted. You know, at some point, and like my husband would be able to tell you like at some point, I just felt like I was like saying, look, I just feel like I'm a piece of meat and I'm a piece of meat in like this cage of like hungry dogs and they just all take a piece of me. And that's honestly how I felt. And I just felt like I was that, you know, that piece of meat and everybody takes a bite of you and everybody feeds off you and it's just like feeding off you. And, you know, and then and then just kept going and kept going and I just thought if I if I hire a better a better agency and pay them more money or if I hire better staff who who have charged me more money that things will change but things just just kept going worse and worse and worse and at some point I was literally like lying on the floor completely exhausted completely burned out and I was like you know what I cannot do this anymore. I cannot do this anymore. And that's when it really hits me. That's when I really understood, like, hang on a minute, Sylvia. Like, like you are the founder. You are the CEO. You are the director. Why do you believe? Why do you somewhere subconsciously believe that these people are worth the money? Why do you somewhere consciously believe that you've got to, you've got to be paying others more than you're even paying yourself? And that's when I realized like it's all about the worth, like it's all about the understanding, like, you know, where you are as a business owner and what is it that you've achieved and how far did you take your brand? Because like so many of you guys, you've got some incredible brands. 
you've got some incredible products that you've created yourself these products are unique like literally guys like hundreds of you sell unique products that you've created with your own hands with your own minds like with your own experience with your own like passion and talents like why do we still believe that somebody else should be getting money that i'm not even getting like no like that's got to stop like at that point it really clicked for me and i was like okay i just wasn't i just wasn't i guess allowing myself to be worth enough that that's all it was i was just like i just believed somewhere that i had to pay an agency four thousand dollars a month just to manage my ads which is something i can do myself anyway <laughs> why did i believe that you know i just somewhere somehow thought that to scale my business that i needed somebody else to do these things because otherwise i'm not going to grow but all of that was just bs so like you know finally like when it hit me i shook myself off and i was like all right i've got to have some difficult conversations and you know within a day that person was fired and 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 you know it was back to a super 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 small team and that just guess what was totally fine <laughs> totally fine right and um since then now i've got a rule now i've got a rule i am still looking for talent but i'm looking for results and i'm looking for results and every single person who works with me needs to bring return on investment on their role because that's essentially an investment and if if i don't see a return on investment from them then that's it like you know i love them but i leave them and rule number two i've created for myself is that nobody is gonna be getting more money than i am nobody nobody okay so um the only exception is mastermind programs and mentorship programs where I'm paying for a highly curated expertise and access to a highly curated um, group and a network. Um, but that's the only that's the only part. But otherwise, like when it comes to employees, staff, uh, agencies, no way, no way. So I'd love to hear from you because for me this changed everything. Like for me this idea of like what am i actually worth and how to really scale my business like that's when i realized like hang on a minute like if i just add more sales into this and more expenses my problems are going to get bigger they're not going to get any smaller you know so that that's what i learned from that experience that actually like i had to fix the fundamentals like i had to go back and deeply deeply fix inside myself like that understanding of what self-worth really is and and how to really think as an entrepreneur I, and i can't believe like nobody told me that before um but i'd love to hear from you i'd love to hear from you what did you learn on your online business journey what did you learn by taking that leap into the unknown i'd, lo I'd love to know and i'd love to exchange some views points ideas so do let me know do let me know below what have you learned alongside your journey? How have you been scaling your business? Or what is your plan to scale your business? And I can't wait to talk to you soon. Bye. <music>